New at nine, a distraught family is looking for answers as the search intensifies for a missing woman last seen more than a month ago. Ferguson Police Department put out an endangered person advisory today for the woman. Fox News' Taylor Harris spoke with the family about the last whereabouts of their loved one. The search intensifies for 43-year-old Latasha Lynch, a missing woman with schizophrenia who was last seen nearby Halls Ferry Road on May 20th. Ferguson police told us that though she was last seen on May 20th, the family did not report her missing until June 19th. Allegedly, she, she broke into her grandmother's house. The police was called. She was supposed to be taken to the hospital. She never made it to the hospital. According to Latasha's family, the last sighting of her was by her son, who saw her walking with a coat and pushing a cart on Halls Ferry Road. Despite his pleas for her to get into the car, she refused. She's always laughing, always joking, has a very good spirit. Right now, she's just dealing with some mental issues, so we are desperate to find her. Weeks later, the family stated that they checked on Latasha at her home. She was not home and the house was in disarray. They did not know if Latasha caused it or if someone else might have been involved. Theta Wilson founder of Looking for an Angel, an organization that supports family of missing persons and mother of murdered missing child Christian Ferguson, shared her insights. That's why I started this. I don't want people to feel like I felt. I needed certain supports. Um, I had certain things in place. Sometimes people are just by themselves navigating this process. They don't know where to start and they don't know how it how it is. Police said Latasha was last seen wearing a gray headband and a black jacket. She is 5'6 and weighs 140. 40 pounds. The family is asking if anyone has any information or have seen Latasha Lynch to please contact the Ferguson Police Department who is handling the case. Reporting from Ferguson, Taylor Harris, Fox 2 News.